Hey everybody, it's Matt Hartley for the Linux Action Show, and I finally, surprisingly, finally got around to getting Arch installed. And I must tell you, it's not half bad. Um, as you can see here, we got all our little Archy good details. Some things I wanted to talk about right off the bat. Um, first thing I noticed was that setup wasn't really that hard. There's actually a live, uh, well, I don't know if you call it a live, but basically it's an Arch installer that you can use. And it speeds up the process a little bit just to give you a very vanilla Arch installation experience. And that's awesome. Um, and uh, what's also cool is that you get this nice little doohickey here with the Arch logo and all that stored information in your console if you want it. So that's kind of cool. These are kind of some of the experiences I really enjoy about Arch. I love the package management, you know, the Pac-Man and so forth, so forth. It's pretty cool. Um, some things I'm also really surprised with is assuming you're installing your packages correctly, stuff that I use on a regular basis actually seems to work pretty well. Stuff like Firefox, uh, Synapsis, uh, my favorite, 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 Pulse Audio volume control here let that launch and you can see that is running really well here in the KDE desktop I actually have it recording uh, to audacity and then of course I also have uh, that going on but I'm also doing some recording to VLC and the reason for that is because I for cannot for the life of me remember the name of the software Chris was using for his uh, video recording so we're gonna do it that way basic tour it's a very vanilla uh, KDE installation that I've installed here very basic, nothing really to speak home about. Uh, you know, just pretty much a standard KDE setup with a few things that I've added. And again, I'm just starting out with this, so I really haven't had a lot of time to uh, get the applications I wanted installed right away. Um, some things that I've noticed, for the most part, I'm quite happy with the way the software has been installing, and I'm also finding that I'm relying more on the command line for getting my uh, Arch user repository packages installed. One thing you may notice is that the screen brightness on my, assuming it translates, at least for me anyway, the brightness, the backlighting, whatever you want to call it, is a little dim. And that is because I have not been able to get the uh, usual grub parameter that I would put in to adjust for uh, the right vendor and so on and so forth into grub. It's not working. It basically, I can get it to work with OpenSUSE, I can get it to work with Debian, Fedora, op, you know, Ubuntu, whatever. But for whatever reason, on this little Tripoli, it won't work. Thankfully, someone from the community pointed out that there is this little fella. ACPI, Tripoli, PC, generic, blah, 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 blah. Basically, as it turns out, there's a number of scripts that it will set up, and as luck would have it, here I am. It looks like it's going to be compatible with my setup, so that's awesome. And that, I think, is really the underlying issue that I really would point out, is that it's the power of the community that seems to really make Arch different. So that's really cool. Um, and big props to the Arch community uh, supporting the uh, user repositories. I'm really happy with that, so that's cool. All right, so what am I not liking, and what am I, you know, what are my underlying feelings with it? Honestly, I don't really have anything I don't like about it. I would say that I came into this feeling very, uh, well, skeptical, I guess, for lack of a better word. I think I felt very skeptical about it initially because I felt like that it was going to be more work than I really needed it to be. But I was really surprised at finding that most of the stuff I want to do here is going to work reasonably easy. Um, I mean, heck, my wireless worked out of the box. That was really cool. Uh, little things like that um, I was really happy with. On the flip side of things, I did notice that uh, despite following various, uh, you know, various tasks on the wiki for setting up, uh, I think it was... Uh, XFCE desktop didn't have a lot of love there so that's too bad but you know it's uh, something I'm gonna revisit because I suspect it's probably something I did very boneheaded on my part so that was really it although I will say KDE is certainly running well and I'm kind of tempted to kind of stick with it because it's running quite fast that's one thing that's great about Arch is you know it is going to run like a rock star um, Really not much else to it. Oh, and of course, uh, Cheese is uh, working really well. I don't know if I should try and run Cheese right now because I've got so much going on. But I think I will give it a whirl. Let me close that out, and we'll give it a try and see what happens, just for giggles. All right, let's see if I can get the webcam to work here. Because <laughs> when I tried it last time, webcam worked flawlessly out of the box. All I needed to do was make sure was Cheese was installed and that I'm running all my commands. The one thing I'm still getting used to is when I install software, 
unlike Ubuntu or pretty much any other distribution, just installing the software is not enough. You actually have to run another command after that to make absolutely sure everything's updated. And that initially was where I was running into the most trouble. Let me actually bounce in here and give you kind of a preview of what I'm talking about. I found that, okay, so I do, uh, well, obviously we've got to, so I do Pac-Man. And I install blah, okay. That's great, but what I didn't stop to realize is you also need to run this. See? I don't know if you can see that, but SYU. That was the missing component that I was missing was a number of things, and it was right there in front of me. I, ha I, knew, I knew it. I just I wasn't putting it together. So that was my own boneheaded fault. Once I realized that, immediately I found that everything was just coming together and running exactly as I wanted it to. And I was really excited about that. Synapsis was going. Firefox was easy to install. Uh, getting codecs and things installed. It was really, really simple stuff. Um, I'm really digging it. So that's pretty much my initial impression of Arch. Uh, I'll have additional thoughts, of course, on Sunday as far as who I think it's best for, uh, who the target market really I think is going to be, and whether or not I think you should try it. Speaking exclusively for myself, I'm finding myself rather committed to it. Uh, yet once I really understood, well, I won't get into too many details, but needless to say, once I've got it all set up the way I wanted, I'm really enjoying it. And I may actually end up installing this on my desktop. So that is something that's going to be interesting because I've yet to try it with ATI or NVIDIA drivers. This is strictly an Intel setup, so it's interesting to see how that works out. That's it for me. This is Matt Hartley for the Linux Action Show, giving you my first impressions of Arch on my Tripoli netbook. And let me tell you, despite the resources, i got to point this out because this really needs to be said, not too shabby unavailable resources. I don't know if you can see that, but, you know, we're not working with a lot, and it's running like a champ, and it boots like a rock star. Check it out. Arch Linux. Try it. Install it. Give it a whirl. See you Sunday.